Mirror matches. All right, not a mirror match. Checkmate. Versus Monte XD. Indeed. All right, so here we go. Oh, there is. Look at that beautiful there is. Oh my God. Three. That's all right. That's all right. We can totally deal with it. We just remove two, and uh, we'll see what we get. But when? Oh. Okay, Reaver Hunter first. Reaver Hunter first. Definitely. Because of the blacklisting, how it so works. So now we can. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now it's a Marian foot soldier again. Again, if you don't know how the blacklisting works, search it up. It's it's really it's very important. important. Yes, it's extremely extremely important. All yeah. Right. So I'm gonna assume just normal open yep. river hunter. I, have we gone first every time in this video so this far? This is this is my life, man. This is my life. I never lucky. Did never lucky. Jeez. We have two ballistas, which is great. So again, against this deck, we can we can try and kill his stuff on a smaller scale. But since we don't have Scorch, that's quite risky. So we're definitely going to try and kill it. So yeah, uh, Ballista is definitely the play here. Also, we're willing to give, it, give up Radovid to kill one. Yeah, because it technically we'll give 0.9 points of value, whatever, right? But like mm. actually over time, like you're denying a lot more strength that you're not seeing. Okay, let's hope he plays another one and not the bear. Uh, he played the bear. All right. I wanted to lacerate it actually, and then we got we got value and we lined up the second one already for a uh, for another ballista. So now we just play another ballista. He's gonna revive it, but that's fine. Bow before Morgan Oh my God! What happened again? Happened oh, again? It happened. MVP did that. It's the mind games, right? The mind I mean, games, dude. Yeah, I, I I thought he was gonna revive it with res restoration or, or Sigurd Rifa. Normally you should, but man, they, yeah, they just copied. If that's that's what happens when you just net deck. I mean, you don't yeah, think? We <laughs> mm. Do we play Ockfist here or, or Temerian Foot Soldier? Will he keep going on though? Do you think? I I don't know because even even if he does, that's one. Okay, so that's minus one, one, two, three. Well, I think this is all right to do the Marine Soldiers because even if yeah. he passes, you don't want to get stuck with him. It, yeah, it's true, and also it, it they normally gain a lot of strength for uh, the Axeman. Let's hope he just passes. That'd be ideal, to be honest. But we want to get Siri, Villain Tretemurf, and Stannis. Still, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of cards to still get. So he's gonna continue playing here. Interesting. So or was gonna put a spy. Yeah, that is that's a definite a pass, pass yeah, for a pass. for sure. I mean, he could coral us, but it's still how many cards that he has to use uh, to to still surpass us. He only has a bear on on the field. And he so cannot this... he cannot rest. This is a pass, yeah. I think. This is definitely a pass. I mean, he could even herald, but I don't think it's worth it because he still has to. I think, yeah, he has to waste like three more cards or something, or two more, and it's not worth it. So we already won one card. That's huge. So now we get pork. That's actually pretty now good. Now we get. Uh, hmm. We didn't. I, I wanted pork though. Hmm. What do we do here then? In that case, when you get nothing, absolutely nothing, do we just pass? Do we dare? Well, if we pass and then he plays two bears, he's going to uh, kind of deny us Priscilla. Uh, on the other hand, if we kind of commit too much, we're going to be in danger of losing on round three. Yeah, I think we have a nice setup going here for round three, and we want to kind of invest fully in round three. Also, with I, I hope we get Priscilla, but because then the chances of either Priscilla or Scorch, we we need one of those or Villain Tretemurf, of course. But um, I think we just pass here. And let them waste another card. That is really suboptimal that you don't get any of those. It's my luck, man. I'm telling you. It's called a Manti yeah, XD man. lock. Dude. It happens. Dude. I, I I get good cards always. Jesus. Dude, I'm telling this you, is... dude. It's, it's, it's the struggle. This is insane, man. It must be a tough life. This is actually not bad because he might be <laughs> running the new shields mate. And if he's running the new shields mm. mate, he might get stuck with one. Or two. Oh, I would love Damn to get stuck with. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's nice. That's very nice. I mean, he has important cards in his hand. If he if he wastes that, I mean, that's pretty huge. All right, so now we we start with 
Oh, top deck, dude, top deck. That's good, that's good. That's gonna win us the game, I think. So now he has to start, of course. And also, we we don't have that many units for um for Harold, which is also great. I mean, the only time when we have enough, when we have really a lot of units, is the first round. So if you if you're a Harold player, and you know how to play, you use Harold in the first turn, of course. Uh, I think we start off with Yennefer here. And we're definitely to gonna try. And get... I mean, we have two you. ways of dealing with the Axeman. We have Iromancy and we have Villain Tretemurf. And, if, and... We get, if we get one run of Villain Tretemurf, I think we get a Vintage right here. Because we got positive one card, right? And yeah. so we always have the last say on them. Indeed. We, we definitely go with Arkfist here, I think. It will survive Harold as well, which is also nice. But we have a Katrini Sea Shard, and we can, which can do really nice stuff right now. Jennifer, yeah, you know what's gonna happen to that? Hmm. Okay, so I'm assuming that we're gonna do uh, Bloody Baron or. Jennifer has just been played. Oh, Jennifer has just been played. Oh, don't, don't, my goodness! Uh, <laughs> rather be, so you would rather be right, right? Always. Always, okay. That's why, rather, that's why we play rather than pretty much. Yeah, that's true, <laughs> I was about to. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, rather be. I'm sorry, I didn't see you do that. I completely <laughs> missed saw you, dude. He's still happy. He's still laughing. Look, dude. Hopefully, dude, don't, don't don't punish. Look, he see that what happens. That right here. This is why uh, Philippa got nerfed. Rather, it happened. Mm -hmm. He laughs because uh, she got nerfed. You can blame it right here. Um. So right now we kind of want to first light some things out. I th I think. Um. He, he is playing Arkfist as well. Let's hope we get a... Hmm. Alzer's Thunder would be great, but we don't have it, of course. A Ballista wouldn't be enough. Would be enough. With Lacerate. With Lacerate. And uh, with Yennefer good. hitting. Hmm. So we might delay... We might delay getting that. We might actually... Do something else first. And that's Baron. Yeah. We will play Baron first. Oh no, that buffs. That buffs Axeman. Hmm. It doesn't? No, it's, oh, a, it's a spawn. Genius. That's great. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's beautiful. Alright, that's that's it's great. Oh, and actually Arkfist will trigger him. So we actually didn't need that damage from uh, Yennefer. Okay, look, it, it will, won't happen anyways. Oh, Villain Threatmer is going to be huge. Alright, so Arkfist is going to trigger. So a Ballista, we're going to definitely want to search for that. What are the chances? One in two. Alright, let's go. And he already ate me, so that's perfect. Here we go. Mm. And it's a Ballista. Now, we definitely hit Arkfist, of course. We don't want him to gain card advantage because we have Villain Tretemurf, which is such an important card. I mean, look at the range draw. We, we could pretty much... Look at all that useless strength. And Ogfist comes back. Oh, all that's... And it's equal. It's equal. Oh my goodness. Alright, so... I would you... Last rate. Right. Last I'm just gonna... Sure. Yeah, okay. Perfect chance to last rate, yeah. Let them gain some more strength. Mm. I mean, we gain even more card advantage right now. That's so good. His that Harold is, is useless. Case. Oh, Grenade. thank you. That that is that is Pope Champ right there. He thinks. Yeah, he he thinks. Oh, it's still equal. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> the, the equalizer. Wow, we're gonna gain so much value out of it. I th not yet. Not yet. We wait. Patience, my child. <laughs> it's consuming me. It's consuming me. Um, um, we definitely want to play another bronze unit because we don't want the ballista to get too high. Okay. Uh, if it gets too high, be... it might not kill Grammys. Um, we don't want to get to that. I think we just we, we definitely play just Arkfist because if we play first light, we get a get to any siege support, which will buff our units uh, again. Um. We don't really want it buffed right now. It, it cannot get higher than. Oh, nice. Nice. 
That's oh, he's good. gonna he's going to do herald right now. No, yeah. oh. If because if he if he heralds right now, he's yeah. going to. Yeah. We're we're buffing that. We're buffing our botchling. And I'm gonna put it we here. Still, so. we still have time. He's playing his last card. He will have no way to deal with. Um, uh, nah, One, let's two. play middle round. Even though it it can, it does have a chance to get hit. Um, when when then. When the whale is moving, it will only hit one. You know, when it's moving, he, he's thinking he got this, but he doesn't. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. The bark is coming. The bark. The myth. The only thing that could ruin us is that the botchling, uh, the lubricant, buffs the ballista twice. That's you the only thing that can ruin us. Oh no, he's oh gonna go god. negative. He's gonna go negative. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Okay, so he went negative. We guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, we win. We win. Yep, yeah, just play villain Tretemurf. and we win. And this is be this is a staple game of uh, playing against Harold or playing against uh, self wounding Skellige. This is a beautiful example of what you can gain. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we pretty much played that so to keep our uh, butchling alive. This is Monte. This is beautiful. And that. Yep. This is so beautiful. We win in one move. This is why Villain Tretemurf is in here. Okay, so that's 12. Uh, wait a minute. Hmm. We, we got we to do melee roll. Yeah. Because Yennefer will hit the, the, um, the thingies. There we go. And Yennefer will. Oh she, no, she won't hit anymore. Right, that's my bad. But whatever, it doesn't matter. We win a huge with a huge yeah. villain try to murder. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a good game. Um, so yeah, Temerian foot soldier here. We want to blacklist that. Uh, we don't want a second ballista. And this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, now. Uh, Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard is one of the newest, uh, the newest faction and everything. How does this deck fare against Nilfgaard? It it has a one hundred percent win rate for me. It, really? Nilfgaard is Nilfgaard is very underwhelming, especially against this deck because there's some good Nilfgaard decks out there, but they're so greedy and risky. Gee, you're always first, Monte. I swear that you always go first. It's my luck, dude. I, I, I've already, like, my decks are planning on me going first, dude. 100% <laughs> first, dude. And we go with uh, River Hunter, right? Yeah. Now, while mm -hmm. I was doing this play, uh, would you like to tell us, like, what in specific is the biggest weakness of Nilfgaard against this deck? Um, I think kind of the the lack of control i mean not i mean don't get me wrong Nilfgaard can control quite well but it's less direct it's more like in a different way and i think Nilfgaard kind of suffers in that regard and also Nilfgaard has some huge cards some like if they play ambassadors for example they get wrecked versus villain and scorch for example and also Car, if you have card advantage against them, they are done. They are what so do done. Do? Um, yeah, it's it's just. I mean, I haven't seen a Nilfgaard deck where I say this is competitive. This can make it in tournaments. I don't think anyone will play competitive. Uh, will play Nilfgaard in an upcoming upcoming tournament right now. If I mean. It might be because we don't really know them that well yet. Because all the other factions, we've played around with them for months. And Novgorod, we've only had for a few days. Um, all right, in this case, um, I think we either go Baron early. Which which might actually, um, yeah, I'd, I'd go with that. I mean, some people don't want to do it because they evalu evaluate ba uh, Bloody Baron too much. But I think it's good to make it, to start him, to get him rolling. So again, Novgorod, I think... Nilfgaard is just a faction right now. It's fun, but it's it's a little on the weak side. And you only have to be a little on the weak side to be Not unplayable in the meta. Yeah. And it's it's a shame, but it happens. See, this is their control. This um, is no time to win <laughs> God damn it, they keep... God damn it, cow. Uh, 
so you might think let's go with uh let's go with last uh Alzer's thunder or something but i think we want a priscilla and it's it's a it's a it's a risky play to be honest but i think the chance is high enough of getting it to could any siege support and placing it there what do you think okay let me see do you so want to go for it we are okay so priscilla what can she show you the main food soldier Catwini support river hunter valista we're going, we're going one, for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine plus <laughs> silver is really low. We'll go for it. All Fuck right, it. here we go. Are you certain? I do it differently. Oh my! Oh well, I, we can we can place this actually to protect yeah. it. Yeah. Come to Papa. Indeed. Playing Ogfist there was a consideration, but I think this is good. Yeah, that that that, that, uh, yeah. that the play was actually really uh, like there was a small chance for it. Uh, uh, we we could have ran into a first line and then have a, an even lower chance of getting it, but <laughs> there was a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is there's a chance. Never tell me the odds. Indeed, you know? roll the dice. Mm -hmm. Always go for it, like a crazy man. Sometimes you gotta play risky, you know. I oh, mean, I agree, so, man. Like yeah. sometimes, sometimes when people you are you playing against people who know the game really well, if you do a silly play, it throws them off really hard, dude. Mm. No yeah, because Gwen can be very oh, lock. What do you think of lock, actually? Uh, it's not a under. Okay, look. Okay, here's the thing, right? You see what he did with uh with that silver, right? Mm -hmm. He could have done it with the rod tosser, and we could. There was nothing we could have done about it. Yeah, it's true. Uh -huh. Or nothing that was worth doing. Correct. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's actually a bloody perfect lacerate target. Um, uh, Alzer standard target. What do you think? That's fine. <laughs> like you know, like I it's seven and it's silver it's... for a bronze. It's perfect, but maybe we should save it. Is there anything worth... Because I don't see Nilfgaard that much this high up in the ladder. Is there anything worth saving it for? Um, because we could just play the Temerian Foot Soldier and keep our advantage here. Which might be... I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. So I think we, we might just do that, actually. Not, ri not risk wasting it. We already rolled the dice and lost it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think he's gonna. I mean, Ox is a Witcher, and it has some synergy with the uh, um, potions, of course. But I don't think he's gonna do it. I mean, that'd be pretty insane to run a deck like that. I've tried it, but I mean, I've tried countless Novgard decks, but it's so difficult sir. to make them work. So he gains a very little value here. Um. <sighs> We're in, we're in kind of a weird spot here, but he's not that much behind, so I think we're just going to play the Ballista. So the Ballista is going to hit the 8. We should hit the 8. Because he might... Know. You know, because he might keep... He might uh, get the worker, the one that keeps keeps one. So you don't want to let them grow too much. Then, then we just scorch it or, or Al, uh, Alzer's Thunder it, I think. Okay, so then and we'll go for I, I the... Think... For the four? Yeah, for the for the seven, for I think. For the seven. And and we just like if he has another eight or something, which I think there's a higher chance of, um, we just scorch. I mean, from the moment that another eight is placed right now, we we take the opportunity of scorching. Sometimes you just gotta you, you don't have to wait always wait for those big opportunities like last game where we we, we kind of scorched. Oh, that's. that's Look at that. That's a good scorch right there. That is a good scorch indeed. Do we wait for it? Hmm. Uh, okay, so 12. Let me see. And this is 2 out of 6. He presses scaling I mean, and then he grabs everything. If, I think he gets a jam hand. If he plays another ambassador and it hits Ox, we have a perfect scorch. Yeah, if he... I think he has a jam hand, a jam, jam hand as well, so... Yeah, so we might just waste a lacerate on the eight, I think. Lacerate? You mean a uh, Thunder? 
Uh, Alistair Stender, yeah. I hope. Why do I always say Lacerate? Lacerate is so much easier to it's say. Because, it's because the, the la premium Lacerate looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. Is that perfect? It's not. Damn it. It's one off. Uh, we're gonna scorch it anyways, I think. Okay. Or we might play villain. Is there anything in our inner graveyard at all? There's an emissary. emissary. So the emissary can give us uh... give us a Kitwani siege, a ballista, a and that's it. <laughs> Kitwani siege surgeon or a ballista. Well, if we're gonna do that, we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to Bork kind of in the way. Uh... Yeah, yeah. I think Bork is the right play here. Because even if he passes at this point, he won't get any value. Um, uh, right now, he's like, oh shit, I'm gonna lose anyways in the long term. So it's kind of I think he's going to pass. pass, yeah. He should pass, to be honest, unless he has a really, really good counter, but I don't really see a really, really good counter that Nilfgaard has at all. And we're, we're really well protected against uh, yeah. Rod Tossers. We have a 2, a 4, and a 2 to protect. Indeed. So we'll see what he does here. He continues to play. How interesting. Oh, okay, so he might have Meno. Actually, Meno has counterproduction with this. Uh, he already. I don't know. I, I don't Meno still wins us the game. I think we yeah. just t thin our deck with uh, Neneke here and into Emissary. Are you uh, he killed again? an ambassador. We, we, no, ambassador would kind of ruin us. No, because. Of <laughs> Let's not work. do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. Your humble servant. And we get a nice. That's good. That's good. Which one do we hit? No, we we won't hit the seventeen or the sixteen. We will hit. What what happens if we hit? Okay, we will hit the nine because if he plays an ambassador and it hits that, the chances are really low. But it becomes a sixteen again. No, and it's good because if he plays another brigade, one, two, three, four. Actually, no, I don't think he's going to play another brigade. Even even still, he, he loses this round. How much value that he, he loses? I mean, he could play Tibor and he still loses. And he doesn't he, have... We he, have a spy, though. He doesn't he's wasting it. cards. He's wasting it. And the fact that we're ahead, normally in a case that you play Bork, that's going to scorch him, you're kind of behind and you're kind of the one wasting uh, some cards. But here, he's wasting them. And it's so odd. Because now we can just say, oh, all right, we'll pass. Yeah, all right. And like as I said, he might have that... Uh... That what's called cool. um, that card? That, no, the card that keeps keeps the one of the cards, right? So oh, now the, he, uh, he doesn't have value. The combat engineer. Yeah. See, now we're just like, all right, we we secured the round. We 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 just said like, you know what? We don't like you. You know, we just forced it upon him. And now we hope we draw Siri. Come on, come on, Siri. Them draws, Mante. Come on. Oh, top deck. Oh, great. That's great. So there is nothing so, that kills uh, goals from them. Yeah, we just play Siri. It doesn't matter that much. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I mean, even if you don't Who look do at I this spy? scenario, what he plays here. Oh, okay, he plays more than I anticipated, but whatever. Um, I wonder what he would pick. All right, he would pick that. Like in most scenarios, it's it's kind of hard or difficult to overpower an eight strength golden card, and Sometimes they just can't do it, and if you only have Siri, they have to play two cards to overpower it, which is insane. Yeah. And if you have Villain Tretemurf into Stannis, into Siri, you have Siri and Villain Tretemurf. Stannis burns, and he has he still has to overcome the power of Siri and Bork in Golden Strength together. So that that force, mm. it's, it's insane. The round two, if you have the perfect hand, can be absolutely brutal. Yeah, we we play that, of course. Pieces um, priceless. That is the menace. Um, this is we we already have scorch, so I really don't think we need iromancy come in on, this case. Come on, come on. Yennefer, lacerate. Eh, iromancy was better in that. I, I I I think this this might win us the game actually this turn. Let's let's lacerate. Let's do it, Monte. Let's lacerate. Okay. 
All right. So then that's uh, twelve. That puts it at twelve. Both of them with Igni both. Okay, and the guy has to catch yeah. up completely. All right. I'm I on mean, board with you. If he, if if that stays, he will stay. <laughs> I, I, I am not sure. The, the, the only Let's thing that the only thing that they can do is uh, all that that that. that. It, it cannot kill Siri, yeah. so it's useless. That's why I don't put Merc the Brock in here. Is he gonna hit or his own unit? Is he? All right, we just pass. He he wasted two silvers and a bronze. It's pretty huge, if you ask me. He has his overpowered. Ideally, again, you'd have more strength while pass. What the? Fuck? I warned you. No, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Combat okay. engineer. Combat engineer. Okay. Useless. Useless in this case. It's another card. You want that in round one? Rotosser? What the hell is he doing, Monte? What is he doing? It's called the top kick because remember his hero ability. He's gonna try to do that. Well, the yeah, top tosser is not gonna do anything because he's, he's gonna waste he... everything. Yeah. We'll just scorch. What? Top kick, the top kick. Dude, this, is, is the, this is top Mer place. I don't understand. This is a very standard play, dude. I will use that play on tournament. You don't understand, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is this is top 500, Monte. What is happening? Dude, he's a 3,416, dude. Your People playing, playing. Uh, what's what's their name? Um, uh, nice. Revivers, medics into. What the hell is this? We'll just we'll just Iron Man see this, yeah. But first, I no, think we I... play Siri. Okay, you first we play Siri. Uh, okay. Oh no! Yeah, we, yeah, sure. Whatever, you doesn't matter. We'll win anyways. My man knows We're like guaranteed to win. Not even mana wins it for him. See, we we have four cards and he has zero right now. That's he... the power of card advantage. And, and we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, oh my god. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. We have how many ways to deal with that? Oh, I'll be jailing. All right. Yeah, we just yeah choose one of your ways to deal with that Monday. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we had only one way of, of dealing with that. Is oh, sixty-three points though. Mm. What rank are you now? Uh, uh, thirty. Maybe no, just still. Well, uh, let's let's show the viewers maybe um, on what rank this is actually played. Okay, so let's see. Just actually That's show good. that. Fair, this. fair enough. Um... So right here, boys, we started rank 13. We're actually really close to rank 14 right now. Started on 60. We, we climbed 40, 40 spots. It was very easy. Uh, the only, we did a couple of mistakes. But you know what? Yeah. If we would have done that, we probably would have won like two games. So still would have gone hard. Um, probably would have got rank 14. Yeah. But hey, we had a good time, right? Oh, dude, the best of times, man. The best of <laughs> times, dude. Um... All right, well, uh, thank you so much for showing this deck with us, sharing this deck with us. Uh, any shout outs? Um, a shout out to Don Coro, who made this deck with me. We both made it together, and it was a long process. And then we made the guide together. That was also quite a long process. And um, yeah, watch, check out his stream. Uh, it's uh, twitch.tv slash Don Coro. Um, he's, he's really good, and he's probably playing this deck on his stream always. And, not always, yeah. but he he's a really good player, and also Team Gwentleman, of course, uh, my buddies. Yeah, he's he's eighteen. He was number um, number four earlier or number six. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember really. He was really pretty high, solely playing this deck, um, and the Team Gwentleman, of course, um, my allies. They are great. Uh, they're amazing. They are most of them are streamers. Most of them are content creators. We make guides. We made decks. We make. Everything we try to be a really good and influential team. Well, th let me tell you something. This deck is fantastic. Is uh, I'm I'm a sucker for control decks, and this is exactly mm. of my of my alley. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. If there is a player, a deck, or a win topic that you would like to be featured on One City, make sure you leave it on the comment section. I see you guys next time.